Hi everyone, this is a math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a straight line graph using the dual intercept method. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. And the first example, we have to draw the following graphs using the dual intercept method. We have y equals 2x minus 4. For a quick illustration, if I have the Cartesian plane as shown, I have my x-axis and I have my y-axis and I have a line, a straight line, passing through the two. At a point in which the graph passes through the y-axis, the value of your x is zero. We call that the y-intercept. So we have our x equals to zero and we have a value for y. And at the point where the graph passes through the x-axis, we call it the x-intercept. At x-intercept, the value of y is 0. So therefore, I'm going to state that to get my y-intercept, the value of x is 0. What that means is, if I go back to my equation, which is y equals 2x minus 4, to get y-intercept, every occurrence of x, I'm going to replace that with 0. So I have 2 times 0, minus 4. That will give me 2 times 0 is 0, minus 4. Therefore, the value of y is equal to minus 4. Therefore, the coordinate of my y-intercept will be, remember, the value of x is 0. My y is now minus 4 or negative 4. I'm going to do the same for my x-intercept. To get x-intercept, the value of y is equal to 0. So going back to my equation, I have y equals 2x minus 4. I'm going to replace my y with 0. I have 0 equals 2x minus 4. And making x the subject of formula, I have 2x. Moving my negative 4 to my left-hand side, I have 2x equals to 4. Dividing both sides by 2, 2 into 1, therefore the value of x is 2. Therefore, the coordinate of my x-intercept will be x is 2 and my y is 0. Remember, we're using the dual intercept method, so we need two coordinates, that's the x-intercept and the y-intercept. I'm plotting that on the graph to get a straight line. We have on my Cartesian plane, I'm going to look for the two points, 0, minus 4, and 2, 0. So for 0, minus 4, x is 0, and y is negative 4, and 2. Put a start there. The second coordinate is 2 and 0. x is 2, y is 0, and therefore joining the two lines or the two points I'm going to have a straight line running through as shown and I'm going to label that that's the graph of y equals 2x minus 4 I'm going to label my intercept I have the first one to be 0 minus 4 and the second one always make sure you label all your points that will be 2 and 0 let's look at the next example so for the second part of the question using the dual intercept method again I'm to draw the graph of B I have y equals minus x minus 5 I'm going to start with finding the coordinates of the y-intercept. And remember, to get the y-intercept, the value of your x is equal to 0. So therefore, for my equation, I have y equals to my minus x minus 5. I'm going to replace my x with 0. So therefore, my y equals to negative 5. To find the coordinate, the coordinate of my y-intercept will be the value of x is 0, 
and the value of the y is negative 5. I'm going to do the same to get my x-intercept. The value of my y will be equals to 0. So therefore, substituting, I have my original equation, y equals minus x minus 5. Every occurrence of y, I'm going to replace it with 0. So I have 0 equals minus x minus 5. Moving my negative x to my left-hand side, I have my x equals to negative 5. So therefore, the coordinate of my x-intercept is the value of my x is minus 5 and the value of y is 0. Now, the next step, I'm going to look for those two points. That's 0 minus 5 and minus 5, 0. On my Cartesian plane, I start with the y-intercept. y-intercept, the value of x is 0. The value of y is negative 5. And for my x-intercept, the value of x is negative 5. And the value of y is 0, as shown. Drawing my straight line graph, I have that as shown. I make sure I label properly. I have the graph of y equals minus 5 minus x. I have my intercept, the first one. The value of x is 0. My y is negative 5. And the second intercept, the value of x is negative 5. And the value of y is 0. Thanks for watching. Bye.